Welcome to another MTD Technical Corner. Now today we're talking with Tom from Open Mind about the Automation Center. I know there's there's uh, parts of running Hyper Op Op Mill that are slightly less exciting where you've got to first bring the model in and set your tool library up and your machine models. Now, this is what I imagine an Automation Center just to do those simple things um, for you, but there's a lot more to it, isn't there? Can you explain what Automation Center is and how it works? Sure, Hypermill's automation center is the ability to automate any HyperCAD or Hypermill function. And, and it, in its most basic form, and probably the most kind of widely um, would be used, is the, the simple things like bringing your part into Hypermill, setting your datum and your NCS, applying a stock to that and, and your work holding. Uh, in its basic form, the idea of Hypermill automation is to take care of those repeatable tasks, those time consuming tasks that you have on each part, uh, but then of course we can advance that much further into tool paths and strategies. And that sounds huge. It can do any HyperCAD function, so any surface modeling, any hose, uh, hole closing, any filleting, and it could also do the CAM system as well, so writing tool paths and changing tool libraries and changing uh, machine models. That, that sounds like a, a, a really big feature. But first of all, how does it work? What would you, what, if you're going to write one of these automation things, what, what would it look like? So there would be uh, an automation script uh, that we can, we, we can write ourselves or provide training for so you can do it and um, manage that yourselves. And once you have this predefined script, which is processes such as uh, close holes, or, uh, apply a feature, or maybe even colored surfaces, uh, then the more advancement of that is we would use these colored surfaces to apply certain tool strategies. If you want to ISO machine, Z level machine, it would look at these, these colored surfaces. Right, so you write the script once and then you'll run it every time you want to program a part and what would be the, what would be the, let's say, take um, colouring surfaces for, for an example, would the script would stop and would it be like an interactive session? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if it's a fixed process uh, and th these parts won't change, um, then it can be fully automated. Um, but to make it more transferable between a family of parts or, or maybe in different parts, you can predefine these stops and, and select the surfaces that you want. Okay, and then what would happen when you select those surfaces? Um, I guess when you've got different families of parts, you want to do the same kind of operations. Would that simplify that process and make if you, you write the script for one part and the next nine parts would be easily programmed? How does that work? Yeah, absolutely right. So it's creating a standardization uh, as well. Um, if you want to program a family of parts a certain way, also makes it easier to onboard people uh, who are maybe new to Hypermill in the company. It's just ingraining that standardization across the part and, uh, and fully automated. And what are the benefits of standardizing those hypermill programs? I mean, surely if you've got a few manufacturer engineers, they all live in the same office and they're all programming parts day in, day out. Why would you want to standardize that, that system? Uh, uh, things like uh, we, everyone would program maybe similar, but slightly different. And if you standardize that, then you're using uh, standard tooling. Um, the, the, the operators on the machine, they, they, they know what's coming and it's a proven process, uh, which you can be sure is safe. Then. Okay, fair enough. And I guess if you, maybe if you lose a manufacturing engineer due to illness or something, then can someone, someone else can maybe take up the, that same job and they know exactly what they're going to see? Absolutely. Um, the, the, the script is predefined. Um, there's aids there to say kind of what you actually need to do at, at certain points. Uh, so to, to get a new programmer up to speed would be very quick. Okay, so if someone's looked at this and think, well, I do quite a lot of stuff in Hyper Mill by rote. It's like I've got 10, 15 parts, and I find myself doing the exact same functions every day. How easy is it for them to write those scripts themselves? You know, you said that you guys can do it or you provide training, but surely that's that's quite a different job to what a manufacturing engineer is, is used to doing. Yeah, and if you look at it this way, the, the manufacturing engineer, he's doing these, these processes day in, day out. So when he's creating the script, he's just looking for the, the, the piece of script that does that certain, um, certain operation, certain feature. Uh, setting his NCS is a predefined script for NCS and he'll pull that in and define how he wants to set it. Um, so the ME, he knows what he wants to do and how to program, we're just automating that, that process for him. Okay, and I guess if someone's watched this and thinks, there is, again, there's a, there's a lot of um, standard functions I'm using in I do the same thing every single day and then I only get to the little bit of interesting bit, which is, I don't know, some, some complex machine, the rest is the same. Um, how can can they test this system out? Can they contact you without having to have having to, to, to buy the automation center? Can they try it out with you guys? 
Absolutely. Um, we can, if they come to us with their, their, their struggles that they're having uh, or what they think they would like to automate, then, then sure, we can, we can create a test script, show them how it, how it works, um, or even come on site and, and, and do some work with them. Okay, and who do they have to get in to- into contact with to find out more about Automation Centre? So there's emails on our website. You can uh, give us a call and we can direct you to the account manager in your area. Mm-hmm.